We talk about tyrants and tyranny a lot on this channel, and usually tyranny is never more evident than when the tyrant wants to take away your right to keep and bear arms. And that's exactly what police chief Donald Hagan, who is the police chief in Okeechobee, Florida, tried to do during Hurricane Helene. I meant to go over this. I had these tabs open and I just forgot, but I think it's it's useful to continue going over this. And this is one of those evergreen things that won't die because cops are trying to do this all the time. And then, like Donald Hagan, they turn around and lie about what they did. Now, I don't know how that got in there. That was just a little mistake. It says Florida City gun sales ban was mistakenly ordered, not enforced after national blowback. So a whole lot of people around the country contacted Donald Hagan and said, you freaking tyrant, what did you do to the 5,400 people that you're supposed to be protecting and serving? Let me show you this. This is the actual mandate. I'm just going to read the highlights. Public notice, local state of emergency, city of Okeechobee, Florida, Hurricane Helene. Under the authority of city ordinance number 1297, adopted by the city council on September 26, 2024, as the city's designated emergency management official, I, Donald Hagan, police chief, hereby declare a local state of emergency. So what he's going to do is he's never he's not going to let this crisis go to waste. We got a crisis situation. This is an opportunity for my me to get my tyrannical claws around the constituency and take away some rights. And by golly, I'm going to do it. He says within the municipal boundaries of the city, 9 a.m. Eastern, September 26, 2024, and remain in effect through 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, September 27th, 2024, unless terminated early and may be extended based on operational conditions due to Hurricane Helene. Said declaration prohibits the following acts for the duration of the declared state of emergency. Remember, the safety of the people or, oh my God, it's an emergency, will always be the alibi of tyrants. So what did he suspend? He suspended the sale or offer to sell with or without consideration any ammunition or gun or other firearm of any size or description. I'm going to just skip this one because nobody's going to intentionally display a, a gun or ammunition or whatever. It says the intentional possession in a public place of a firearm by any person except a duly authorized law enforcement official or person in military service acting in the official performance of their duty. So he suspended gun and ammunition sales and he took away your right to possess a firearm in public. Well, he did get national blowback on this and he was questioned about it and people tried to contact him, but the police receptionist funneled all the calls to Okeechobee Police Mayor Betty Taylor, who issued a statement on Monday trying to clarify and explain her boss's actions. Instead, it only muddied the waters. Check out what she says. The emergency ordinance commenced immediately upon the declaration by the police chief and was thereafter terminated by the police chief on or about 9.51 p.m. on the same date it was issued. The emergency ordinance was terminated for two primary reasons. One is that fortunately, Hurricane Helene did not have a substantial impact on the city and its residents. Secondly, a provision prohibiting the sale of firearms and ammunition was inadvertently included in the emergency ordinance. Upon discovering this, the city and police chief acted expeditiously to terminate the emergency ordinance. So they're saying this, Firearms and ammunition prohibition in the city was inadvertently included. They are freaking liars. So they accidentally wrote this on this piece of paper and the chief accidentally read it and he inadvertently signed it knowing full well what he signed. So this guy right here is not just a tyrant. He's a tyrant who's not going to own up to his tyranny. To add insult to injury, the public information officer, Jarrett Romanello, wrote, This is something that was mistakenly enacted. Once we learned that the emergency order was not the order that we intended to declare, we immediately terminated it. 
Calls and emails started pouring in despite the termination of the order. He's not here today because he was subject to personal attacks all day from all over this country, Romanello said, referring to Chief Hagen. Most of the noise is coming from people that live outside the city of Okeechobee. What he's calling noise are actually real concerns by real Americans who really saw a tyrant try to suspend the Second Amendment under the cover of, hey, we got a hurricane, it's coming, this is an emergency, so we need to suspend the Constitution. And I'm going to sign this order. Romanello added, at no time did any Okeechobee City Police Department officers take any enforcement actions pursuant to the declaration. No guns were seized. No businesses were approached or told to take down their firearms. We very much support our Second Amendment. That's BS because if you support the Second Amendment, you would never issue an order like this. The Okeechobee City Police Department values the civil liberties of all our citizens and we value the rights of our citizens, including the right to bear arms. The Second Amendment Foundation wrote in their article, those are pretty strong prohibitions which very clearly didn't make their way into the ordinance inadvertently, and I totally agree. Also, they very clearly regulate arms and ammunition regardless of how long the ordinance was in effect. What's also very clear is why the good mayor now wants to avoid even the appearance of regulating arms. Florida's powerful preemption statute allows only the state legislature to regulate arms. Any public official who violates the preemption statute can be removed from office and fined up to $5,000, which the statute requires them to pay personally. Why isn't that in effect for anybody who wants to violate the Second Amendment? Or if they violate the First Amendment or the Fourth Amendment or the Fifth Amendment? If they go against the Constitution they swore to protect, they should personally be held liable. Their pensions should be affected. Their job should be affected and they should be jailed. It shouldn't be because there's a preemption statute in your state. That's ridiculous. Okeechobee police spokesperson Detective Jarrett Romanello told local media Monday evening that the city officials are reviewing the entire incident to determine how the mistake occurred and that he looks forward to providing more answers as soon as the review is complete. Romanello also complained that most of the noise directed at his boss was coming from folks who live outside the city limits. Again, it's not noise. It's legitimate concern from Americans who are sick and tired of tyrants taking over, not letting that good crisis go to waste and removing people's rights carte blanche. Leave your thoughts in the comments below for Police Chief Donald Hagan. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification icon. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my brand new channel called The Disturbing Illusion, where we expose the left versus right paradigm lie, dog and pony show, WWE nonsense under the Washington's District of Criminals Big Top. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt, become a channel member, but more importantly, realize that in times of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. I guess if the revolution is to be, it's up to you and me. I'll see you in the next video.